So how could a real estate agent use Clubhouse to generate actual clients, sell properties, and grow faster than they ever thought possible? Well, I've been on the platform for about a month now, and I'm going to blow your mind in today's episode. If you want to know what Clubhouse is and how it works, you can go back in my playlist. I have an entire video dedicated to that. And I said very early on, this platform could go either way. High level, it's an audio platform, so it's like a radio. Essentially, I can have it playing here in the background, and I do quite often have it playing in the background, may look optically like I'm just sitting on the platform 24 hours a day, but it could be on my iPhone or on my iPad and be just like the radio. So while I'm doing work, doing my follow-ups, doing my emails, even hopping on and off calls, it's a very intuitive platform and allows you to do more than one thing at the same time. So that's the first reason why agents are able to be so productive on this application is it's not like Instagram or even this medium where I have to give you all of my attention. The rest of the world is shut out. Now, generating actual business, this surprised me quite a bit. So just being involved in the rooms that I'm involved in, for some reason or another, clients are actually popping into these rooms, following you, and then calling you about business opportunities after. I picked up a 60-acre parcel that I was analyzing for a client last week. There was another double acre, or sorry, a double lot that I was helping somebody with the city break down what the best and highest use is for a potentially multifamily investment. I found investors. I found a tenant for one of our commercial properties. And then not only that, I've had some incredible referrals from a Canadian wide network. Keep in mind, especially if you're being, you know, very thoughtful about who you're networking with, buyers are going to be coming to our area from all over Canada. So I want to be that point of contact or at least a thought leader or somebody for them to think about when it comes to sending clients our way. Now, the second way that you can be productive is actually just be focused and productive. A lot of times people don't like these tools because they let the tools use them. They go on TikTok, they go on Instagram, they say, I don't have time to post anything, but then they spend two hours scrolling the feed and looking at everybody else's stuff and they get absolutely nothing done. I have a lot of intent when I go on these platforms. I'm either going to be part of a collaborative community, help out a friend or do something on the platform. I didn't just go in there and sit there for no reason you know, you have to be thoughtful about your time and then time block it as well. So I run a room every Monday at 1130. You want to know some tips? I've had top YouTube experts on. Today, we dug into LinkedIn for about an hour, an hour and a half. I was in and out of that conversation, working with the team, delegating tasks, calling leads. But I also have two pages of notes from the foremost expert on LinkedIn and using that platform effectively. I was literally just on a panel with Tom Ferry, not even an hour ago. He's one of the biggest names in the real estate industry, a top coach that you would pay thousands for access to. And then last week I was on a panel with a top luxury builder and a pile of agents talking about how to service that clientele and market. So now tell me that it's not worth doing when I'm learning from people that are doing 10 times the business that I'm doing. And that's something I've done my whole career. You will have people that are haters and they're going to say what they're going to say about the different platforms, usually just as an excuse because they don't want to put in the time or the work. But I have met some incredible people that are helping us scale our business in a very big way. And I feel like we're just getting started connected with one of my best friends on the app who runs an outfit out of Michigan where they do over 700 deals a year. And we are on a first name basis now and sharing tips and techniques about how to service our team, our clients, grow and scale. I promise you, if you are counting that app out, you are making a huge mistake. And the fact that it is a land grab right now, there's nothing quite like it. So that's my experience over the last month or so. I've generated actual business. I've found buyers. I've found tenants. I've made amazing collaborations and relationships. So what's your excuse? I would love to know why you're not jumping on that app. And I'd love to just have an open conversation about it. Doesn't mean it has to be for everybody people communicate in different ways. And I don't necessarily think that app is for everybody, especially people that aren't going on there with the right intent. But I do feel like a lot of people are looking at this application the wrong way and don't understand the actual value of it. So I'm going to yell it from the mountaintops, which is the opposite of what somebody with a scarcity mindset would do. If all I cared about was myself, I wouldn't say a word to you and I would just keep growing. I'd get all the attention, but I want to raise the bar in our community and help as much as I can. So I'm here to serve you. All you got to do is hit me up or comment below.